are there ways to naturally lower high blood pressure? Well, you know, the medical literature actually tells us that there are some ways that really work and doctors sometimes forget to tell patients about it. In fact, in the textbooks of pharmacology, medical doctors are told the first line of therapy to reduce someone's blood pressure should be lifestyle intervention. So I'm going to tell you what those lifestyle factors are because in many cases people don't even need to be on blood pressure medication. In fact, the World Health Organization tells us that about 75 percent of all people with high blood pressure have only mild to moderately high high blood pressure and they could actually manage it and get it down to normal by just making lifestyle change. Now if lifestyle change doesn't do it completely then of course you need medication. But let's talk about what those lifestyle factors are. First thing is that of course you should eat less sodium. You know if you have too much salt in your body it holds more blood in, in your circulation. Your heart has to work harder to be pumping more blood and your pressure goes up. But here's something to know. that If you increase your calcium intake, you take calcium supplements up to and you get 12 to 1500 milligrams of calcium a day from food and supplementation, the calcium helps to naturally wash some of the sodium out of your body so when you're urinating you're actually getting rid of a lot of the sodium because the calcium is helping to push some of the sodium out through the kidney tubule. So a higher calcium intake helps to lower blood pressure often by decreasing the sodium load in the body. And then of course there's the omega-3 fats from fish and fish oil and flaxseed oil. When you put those into your body, the blood vessel wall makes these interesting hormones called prostaglandins out of uh, those essential fats and it relaxes the blood vessel wall so there's less resistance to blood flow. When the resistance to blood flow is less, your diastolic pressure goes down, there's less resistance. And when your diastolic pressure goes down, the heart doesn't have to beat as hard and so your systolic pressure also goes down. So omega-3 fats are also uh, quite helpful. Here's another supplementation combination that most people don't even know about that's useful. Taking the combination of coenzyme Q10 with the herb Hawthorne, when you put those two together in a specific dosage, the CoQ10 and the herb Hawthorne have been shown to relax the blood vessel wall, improve the energetics of the heart, and blood pressure often goes to normal if you give the person, you know, between 100 and 200 milligrams of CoQ10 and roughly the same amount of Hawthorne from supplementation staged out over the course of the day. Two fantastic supplements for cardiovascular health. And then, of course, if you're doing endurance or aerobic exercise, you know, when you're exercising, your blood pressure actually goes up. But then when the exercise is over, your blood pressure goes down to a point that was lower than before the exercise began because your adrenaline, your adrenaline levels go down. Your body's now it's not so hyper. Generally, your, your central nervous system is now in a more relaxed state and your blood pressure starts to go down. Now, don't be fooled by articles you may read about taking garlic to lower your blood pressure. Garlic lowers your blood pressure, you know, a little bit. But there is some, and there are some dangerous things that, that uh, garlic can also cause. It can actually, it's been linked to some bleeding disorders internally. So if you're going to use garlic, you have to have your bleeding time or your prothrombin time checked very regularly. So I'm not a big fan of garlic supplementation. Uh, if you're going to use a form of garlic, make sure it's chiolic garlic if you're looking for some general health benefits. But remember that garlic in any form can actually increase risk of internal bleeding a little bit. That needs to be monitored. Now the other thing that's really important when it comes to managing high blood pressure is if you're overweight you need to lose just some of that weight. Studies show this, that two-thirds of people who are overweight who have high blood pressure, if they just lose some of the weight, then two-thirds of those people will actually uh, have their blood pressure normalized by just losing 10 to 15 pounds. So if all the people who are overweight who have high blood pressure, if if they all lost just 10 to 15 pounds, two-thirds of them would actually see a blood pressure reduction down into the normal range. And so for all of these reasons, it's your lifestyle interventions are, are extremely important to you. And most people don't understand how important they are. The last thing is this. If your blood pressure is high, it might be because you're just generally... Uh, too, yeah, you have too much anxiety or there's too much going on in your brain at one time, you're overloaded with stress and so there's, your, your nervous system is too wired to such a degree that if you could learn some meditation or progressive relaxation, some yoga, some biofeedback, some guided imagery or visualization that, 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 that sort of show you, get your body into a more relaxed state, very often that helps to bring your blood pressure down as well. So those are the natural ways that have been proven, this is not theory, to proven to lower 
lower your blood pressure using some natural interventions. I hope you'll take this to heart and put those into place if your blood pressure is in the higher range. You know, if you enjoyed this video and you felt that you got some meaning from it, then I would really strongly recommend that you go to machinohealth.com and you can sign up for my newsletter so I can coach you on an ongoing basis as I review the scientific literature from around the world every month. I send out you know, a little weekly message like this that brings people up to date on the latest things they should do so they know how to look after themselves properly. You'll also see how you can get a free download of my, of my book called The Machino Optimal Living Program, Seven Steps to a Healthy, Fit, Age-Resistant Body. It's a book I believe everyone should read. So you see how you can get a free copy of that when you go to machinohealth.com. So hopefully we'll have a chance to meet again and I'll be able to provide you with ongoing lifestyle coaching that's going to be meaningful so you can have a highly functional body and mind for the longest period of time.